Hello everyone, my name is Greta and I'm the social media manager here at Plan. Today I wanted to show you five of my favorite features on Plan Desktop that are really going to help you with your marketing strategy. Let's go ahead and get started. My first favorite feature to incorporate into your marketing strategy has to be our calendar. You can find it just by simply clicking calendar up here at the top of the screen. And I feel like our calendar definitely doesn't get enough love. There are some really cool things that you can do with it though. As an example, let's go ahead and click on the date of the 26th on the month of June. By hitting this plus sign, we can click add. And then from here, we can either add a post, a story, or a custom event. Now let's say on Saturday the 26th, I know that I need to do a content creation shoot, so I have content for the upcoming week. So all I have to do to put that in my calendar is press the custom event, choose the event type. We already have some preloaded types within here, so I'm just going to go ahead and click content shoot, and then I can give it a title. Let's just say this is for July content. Also include the date and the time, and then I can attach media. So one way I would use this is let's say you, you know, went on Pinterest, saw some lifestyle photos that are inspiring you for your content shoot in July. You could easily add that media here to keep track of it. And that would be a really good way to use this ad media. And then you could add in notes. So let's say there's a specific lens I want to bring for the shoot. I can write that here to remind myself, or if there's a certain, you know, color palette I want to wear for these photos, I can include that. Just anything that I would need to remember for this shoot. Then I go ahead and hit create, and then here I can see the color. So what would be really helpful is um, just making every event, event you do a specific color. That way you already know just by seeing the color what it is, but if you go ahead and click on it, you'll see more of the info here. Another way you can use this is let's say you're a wedding photographer and you have a couple whose anniversary is coming up and you want to make sure you post something on their anniversary to congratulate them. I've already done a mock-up of that here, but basically you would go in, select wedding shoot, name it. I did a a photo of the couple and then you know select the date and time when I'm posting it and you can also keep track of your posts so posts that you have scheduled for auto posting or posting that's coming up will also show up on your calendar as well now the second feature that I think is absolutely fundamental is of course called strategy so at the top you'll click on strategy and from here this is where you can create these custom tiles that act as placeholders in your grid and this is a great way to strategize for the month ahead to see what content you still need to create and this is also a great way to make sure your team is aligned with your strategy and so how these work is you drag them from the strategy over onto your grid, and then it will act as a placeholder. And you can add custom ones here. Now, if you are completely lost, we have our content prompts, and this is where we have already curated a strategy for you. We have done this for over 70 industries, so I'm certain you will find one that is perfect for you. Now the third tip that I have isn't a feature, but this is a pro tip and I had to mention it in this video. This is our content calendar. So this is not the calendar within plan. This is something completely different. This is a content calendar that our team sends to you uh, towards the end of each month to prepare you for the month ahead. So if you are on our email list, for example, at the end of June, 
you would have received this July content calendar. And if you're not on our email list, make sure to check it out in the description below and subscribe so that you're getting one of these every month. Let's go ahead and select a day so I can show you what the templates look like. Let's go ahead and click on the 8th. So as you can see, we have this gorgeous template and then you can go in and switch out the video in the middle and you can change the colors so it really fits your brand. Now we have even taken it a step further and starting, I believe it was last month, we started adding these caption prompts because something that we were getting a lot of questions about from you guys is I'm lost with captions, what do I do, how do I get inspired, and that's why we whipped this up for you. So all you have to do is match the date here to the date on the calendar and go ahead and copy and paste these prompts into your um, caption on plan and then you can edit it a little bit but we have already given you a really solid template so you're not only set with templates for each day but the caption as well and this if you don't have a marketing strategy and if you don't even know where to start this is going to completely get you all set up now my fourth tip is to go into our results feature. Now if you want to see what's working in your strategy and what's not, which is super important, you're going to want to come into this feature and really take a look at how your posts are performing, how your stories are performing, what's going on with your activity and audience, and you can do this by week, month, three months, lifetime, etc and you can also see your best performing color palette. Now, there's no numbers to report because this is our mock-up account, but um, this is just to show you what exactly we're analyzing and looking at in this feature. So it's very, very detailed. You get a lot of information here, and this is really going to help you see what you need to continue doing in your strategy and maybe things that you need to go back and rethink and re-strategize. And last but not least is our auto posting feature. And this is new to plan and this has just been such a great tool that we've been able to implement. I was just on vacation and I'm the social media manager here at plan. So there's a lot of stuff that we constantly have to post. I set so many things to auto post while I was away and it was just so nice knowing that everything was going to be posted on time and it was going to be consistent. I didn't have to worry about it. So when it comes to getting a strategy together, you really want to make sure you're being consistent with it. So that way you're giving your strategy enough time to really, you know, see if it's working, see what you need to change and what's working, what's not working and to do that you really need to be posting consistently so all you need to do to auto post is go to the post you want to set for auto posting select the post now option make sure the toggle for auto post is on and then you'll go ahead schedule the time and you can do that here so if you want to auto post it now you'll you'll select post now if you want to set a custom time for auto posting, you'll select custom time and then go ahead, make sure that toggle is turned on, you have your date and your time selected and you're good to go. Now it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera and I definitely miss it, but I thought this style of video was much more helpful so I can actually show you the features and a little bit about how they work while I'm explaining them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, make sure to subscribe for all things social media, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.